150 days, 150 psalms, one verse from each psalm daily. Welcome to the place where you learn the Bible. I hope you're all doing well. Greetings to you in the matchless name of the Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. Even today, we are going to meditate on Psalm 144. And the verse that I've chosen is verse 10. Psalm 144 and verse 10. And the core line that I want to talk to you is, verse, is the first line. Who gives salvation to kings. Salvation to kings. To king so this is a battle song and a prayer a battle song and a prayer uh, if you read if you read verse 1 blessed be the lord who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle and uh, it talks about uh, how god how the psalmist asks god uh, to stretch forth his hand look at verse 7 stretch forth your hand look at verse 6 flash forth your lightning send out your arrows and confuse them look at verse 5 touch the mountains that they may smoke so so this is the way uh, this is a, this is a kind of he, he invites god to join the battle with him and in battle with him and it is in this context we are going to look at verse verse 10 where uh, where the psalmist david says who gives salvation to kings who gives salvation to kings it is usually who's who who is who it is usually the kings who lead the battle who lead the battle who lead the war when when you look at the when you look at david's life there are many battles that he fought he he led it from the front he made sure that is that uh, the people his army would win the battle saul when he was leading israel there were many battles that he led from the front even in the battle that he died he led from the front Ezekiah, king joseph so the list can go on even when we study indian history there are many battles where Great kings led wars from the front. But here, here David says, though I lead the battle, it is God who gives me victory. When you read this verse in other versions, Psalm 144 and verse 10, for you grant victory to kings. He didn't say, my hand grants victory to me. He didn't say, my battle strategies grant victories to me. He doesn't say, my horses and chariots grant victories to me. But he says, it is the Lord who grants victories. It is the Lord who grants salvation to the kings. We read a very similar verse, even in the last, even the la even in the last verse of Psalm 18. Psalm 18 and verse 50, the very last verse, it says like this, He gives great deliverance to his king. God is the one who delivers even the king. God is the one who even saves the king. God is the one who even gives victory to the king. And that is why, when we the previous verse, verses that we read in Psalm 144, stretch forth your hand, flash forth your lightning, send out your arrows, Touch the mountains, blow your heavens. He says, Lord, I cannot fight this battle alone. So he's inviting God into the battle because he knows it is only God who can give victory to the king. Dearly beloved, this is a thought that I've been talking over. If you are regularly hearing these Psalms, this is a thought that I've been stressing again and again and again. Because this is something that really needs to be soaked in our mind. That only God can give us victory. If it is for kings itself, if only God can give us victory. If only for God can give them the victory, how much more do we need God in our lives? Whatever it might be, as David, as David, he himself was a trained warrior. The man who, who killed uh, the lion and the bear. The man who killed Goliath with just one stone. The man who brought 200 Philistines for skins when Saul asked only for 100. Such a great warrior itself invites God into the battle and says, It is God who can give me victory. How much more do we need to rely upon God? May God give you the victory. May God deliver you. May God save you. But just one thing, invite God into every battle that you face. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.